than God. I'm almost finished. Can you hang in there? Moses lifted Israel up. And Nimrod came and broke the civilization of Moses. Nimrod is who you're really celebrating on the 25th day of December. You're not celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you are, you're making a mockery of it. You drink more alcohol on his birthday than any other day in the year. And you've turned the so-called birthday of Jesus Christ into a commercial feast of foolishness. Santa Claus has knocked Jesus out of the top spot. And the merchants who don't even believe in Jesus are busy selling you foolishness making themselves rich and you poor for another year on the basis of a lie. And that's why they call it X-mus. Because you don't know who it is that you are worshiping. Where did you get this Christmas tree from? What does that have to do with Jesus Christ? And in all your churches, you have this big tree. Look at what Jeremiah the prophet says. It warns you not to follow the way of the heathens. For the heathens go in the forest and they cut down a tree. And they fasten it down and they deck it with silver and gold. Ain't that what you do? And when you try to tell the Christian that this is a heathen practice, they say, well, I don't care. My father did it. My mother did it. I'm going to still do it. And you paying 10, 20, 30 dollars for a tree. And then the tree dries up and burn you up in the house with your foolish self. Con Edison can't wait till Christmas comes to con you out of some more money with your lights burning. Who made up this lie and forced it on the church? 